Hey YouTube, it's Christopher here from Cars Unlocked. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up and use the Waze Navigation app. All right guys, before we begin, I just wanna say, do not hesitate to subscribe to Cars Unlocked if you wanna see more videos like this. Guys, I'm approaching 10,000 subscribers and any new subscriber would be a ton of support. Also, if you learned something here throughout this video, give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section below and I'll be sure to help you with your Waze app. What is Waze, you might be wondering. Well, Waze is owned by Google and it is a turn-by-turn -turn navigation using user-submitted real-time travel times and route details. It's an app that you can put right on your phone and you can use it on your phone. However, if your car is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which I've talked a lot about in my channel, you can have it register right to your infotainment system and it will sync with your phone. The benefit of that is you don't need to be using your phone while you're driving and you can avoid distractions because your GPS is right on your screen here. We're gonna be showing you the video in an iPhone 8 today. iPhone 8 already comes with Apple CarPlay. You have to have the latest software. I think it's iOS 12 or newer. And for Android, you need to download the Android Auto right on your phone and you need to download the Waze app. For both iPhone and Android, you need to download the Waze right from the store there. Once you've downloaded the app and plugged in your phone, you'll notice your Apple CarPlay comes up right on your screen and I just need to go into my apps and find the Waze app here. Once I click that, I can search through my navigation. I'll show you the main, uh, the main screen here. This is the full map, so um, it's really nice. Um, you can do a 3D view, a satellite view, a bird's eye view. It shows your speed limit up here. And then I can use the touch screen to navigate through the, uh, the map here. Here I can see any reports. Like I said, the, one of the biggest benefits of using Waze is it's live user submitted data. So if someone th punches in the same route or they're on the same road that's on your route and they p update a police stop or an accident, construction hazard, traffic delays, you'll get that in live time and you'll see it on your direction. Um, for example, let's just punch in an address here let's say we want to go to a Buffalo Bills game which is at New Era Field here phenomenal time if anybody hopefully the Bills go far in the playoffs here we go camper lot New Era Field punch it in that's where we want to go so it shows the address Abbott Road in Orchard Park it shows our arrival time is in an hour and 27 minutes um, sorry the arrival time is at 150 127 and it's a 51 minute drive so I can hit go now and it just takes a minute. It's important Let's to know. Let's QEW bridge to USA Fort Erie. One In of the cool meters. things Turn is left on Secord Drive. You can change the, what voice you have giving you the direction. So that's obviously the robot lady, but you can change this. Um, you can see it's really vivid here with the purple. Now that I put the route into the new era field, if I don't like the route that it's uh, taking me on here, um, I can see the different routes that are available by clicking the directions here. And see, it's telling me the, 50, the 53 minutes is the quickest way, QEW, and then crossing the border at Fort Erie. Or I can go through Niagara on the lake. There's a few different ways. And if you select a different one, you can see it change here on the, the route. And you can see all three. The purple is the one I've selected, the green, and the blue. They're all displayed here. So you can really pick your fastest route and which way you want to go. And then you just hit go and it will automatically quickly change. You can also update if you want to report traffic, accidents. It doesn't show any right now on my trip. Um, if there's any police or anything like that on my way, but if someone reports it as I'm driving, you'll see it there. Another thing that you can do is you can search for the cheapest gas along your route. So if you need, if you know you need, you're gonna need to stop for gas, you don't have to go to the first gas station you see. You can bring up all the gas stations along the route and then add a stop so it's gonna take you to 
the cheapest one and that will save you a couple bucks when you fill up your tank there's also a few more benefits that you can do with the Waze app for example it will sync with your Google Calendar and your Facebook Calendar so the second you create an event or an appointment you can punch it into your Google Calendar and it will tell you you need to leave 40 minutes before and give you a notification saying hey you need to leave because it's gonna take 40 minutes to get to that event so there you have it guys thanks so much for watching another video if you have any questions about the Waze app do not hesitate to ask me in the comment section below as always subscribe to my channel because I do how to's like this all the time and we'll be unlocking some more vehicles throughout the new year don't forget follow me on Instagram and if you learned something here today give this video a thumbs up we'll see you in the next one